65 million years ago, the Earth was a different place. Giant creatures roamed the land, seas, and skies, ruling over all they surveyed. But in the heart of the prehistoric world, there lived a creature beyond imagination. The big daddy of dinosaurs, Supersaurus. This is the mightiest creature to ever roam the planet. Its size was unmatched, its power unmatched, and its roar echoed throughout the land. But as time passed, they vanished, leaving behind only their fossils and legends. But today, we're going to dig deeper into the past and meet the humongous Supersaurus, the 40-meter biggest dinosaur ever discovered. Supersaurus likely reached 42 meters from snout to tail when it was alive, around 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period surpassing 39 meters. Even its smaller size is exceptional. At 39 meters, the dinosaur would have been longer than another candidate, the 33-meter-long Diplodocus. The bones of the beast made the news. The discovery of a dinosaur bigger than Brachiosaurus, which was, at the time, thought to be the longest dinosaur, excited the general public. In the hysteria that followed its discovery, a writer accidentally gave the largest beast the moniker Supersaurus. Superman sprang to mind as soon as I heard the word Supersaurus, which means Super Lizard. The Supersaurus is real, in contrast to the Kryptonian superhero. Scientists believe it may have been longer than any other dinosaurs, that it did in fact exist and walk across the surface of the Earth. According to a recent study, the average human being has a head the size of a horse, hip muscles the size of a vehicle, and a body that is the length of three huge school buses stacked end to end from nose to tail. The sauropod subgroup of dinosaurs, which includes the Supersaurus, is distinguished by its members' extraordinarily long necks, long tails, smaller heads than the rest of their bodies, and four thick pillar-like legs. The American states of Wyoming and Colorado in the present day were home to the herbivorous mammal. Supersaurus' lengthy shoulder bones are unusual considering that most Diplodocidae members had small front legs and long rear legs. In contrast to the giraffe dinosaurs of the family Brachiosauridae, which typically have long scapula coracoids and long front legs. The scientists have determined that Supersaurus was a record breaker for length and bulk by comparing the proportions of the scapula coracoid with those of other Diplodocidae family members like Diplodocus or Apatosaurus. Maybe only Seismosaurus was lengthier. Supersaurus most likely had similar dietary preferences to other sauropods. They consumed ferns from the ground as well as leaves and shoots from trees, and they fed fairly continuously. Hundreds of pounds must have been consumed daily by adults. The plants and leaves may have been ground down in the stomach by gastrolites, often known as stomach stones. Since the first discovery, several paleontologists in Wyoming have found fragmentary skeletons believed to be Supersaurus, including one known as Jimbo and another known as Goliath. According to legend, the first specimen of a Supersaurus was discovered in 1972 in southwest Colorado's Dry Mesa Dinosaur Quarry. The discovery's researchers, however, thought the bones they've discovered belonged to three distinct dinosaur species. Additionally, the newly discovered bones' size and form suggest that Supersaurus is the owner of all enormous bones discovered in Dry Mesa, rather than three different gigantic dinosaurs. And it's unquestionably pretty insane. What do you think? What would occur if Supersaurus were still around today? Drop your most absurd theory about this monstrous beast in the comments below. And that's all for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends if you thought it was interesting and informative. Please subscribe to our channel as well if you want to see more incredible and fascinating videos like this. Keep discovering and studying the fascinating universe that is all around us. Until then, peace.